This presentation explains how to activate and deactivate your InFocus products correctly. At the end, it will also show a few examples of what could go wrong and how to handle those situations. Let us look at the activation first. You will, of course, have to install the product, but before you can actually use it, you will have to activate it. You will find yourself in one of the following three situations. You want to start a trial period, you want to activate a product with a license key, or you want to upgrade the product from a previous version also using a license key. In all three cases, you have to start the activation wizard. This is either done from the About dialog or from the Help menu. When the software has not yet been activated, the dialog will show you the installed product, its version number, and the fact that you do not have a license. When you do not have a license key at this point in time, you can use the Start Trial button. This will open a new dialog, where you have to specify your account name and password. If you do not yet have an account, there's a link to a web page where you can create one. When you have filled out all the information, you will receive a mail asking you to confirm your mail address. It's only then that your account will become active. Once the account name and password have been filled in, you can click on the Activate button. And after a few moments, your trial period will be activated. Note that you can only do this once. When you have purchased a license either on the InFocus website or through one of our resellers, you will receive the license per mail. It can either be a single line key or a set of keys in an HTML file. Now open the activation wizard and click on the activate button. When you receive the single line key, you copy and paste it from the mail and click somewhere outside the field where you pasted the key. You will immediately see if the key you have used is a valid one. Note that this only means that you have pasted the key for the correct product, not that it is active yet. You will have to click on activate to actually start the activation process. When you have received an HTML file, save it to disk and browse to it from the activation wizard. All the keys will be automatically added to the list. When you're upgrading from a previous version of the software, you will also receive a key, in this case an upgrade key, but the procedure is exactly the same as before. If you want to start using the software on a different computer, it is very important to realize and to remember that you have to deactivate the license key on the current computer before you can activate it on the new one. In this case, you again open up the About or License dialog of your product, and instead of clicking on the Activate button, you click on the Deactivate button. When the Export License information during deactivation toggle is checked, your license key will be exported to an HTML file that you can use afterwards to activate the product on the other computer. And you do not have to specify your account information to deactivate the product. When filling in the activation key, there is immediate feedback whether it's a valid key or not. Now, if the activation wizard shows you that it is not, this is either because the key is for a different product or because you missed a few characters when copying the license key from the mail. It's not because the activation wizard recognizes the key as a valid one that it will be successfully activated. You will only know that when you have clicked on the activate button. Another obvious thing that can go wrong is that you have mistyped your password. If you have forgotten it, there is a link in the activation wizard to a page where you can request that the password be sent to you by mail. You must have an internet connection, not for using the product, but your computer has to be online for activating the license. When trying to activate the product, you could get the message that the key is already in use. This can happen in the following two cases. Firstly, you want to activate the InFocus product on a new computer, but you have forgotten to deactivate the product on the old one. If you want to move an InFocus product to a new computer, then please do not forget to deactivate it on your current computer, as already pointed out earlier in the presentation. 
The second case is the following. License keys can have an activation count. This means that the same license key can be used on a number of computers, which is of course a more convenient uh, method. When your key has an activation count of let's say 5, and you're trying to activate the software on a sixth computer, you will also get this error message. For any problems relating to the activation of your product, please send a mail to activation at and focus.com.